Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Curly, your friendly graphic designer. Let's go. Come and fly away with me. Come and fly away with me. So, hello guys. So, it's been a long time ever since I uploaded a video in this channel. So, um, um, today I am sharing with you a very, very, very good hack that I just learned on um, this past few days. And this hack, uh, I don't think it's trending yet, but I believe some of the Canva users are, um, is already um, doing this. They call it the Canva art. So Canva art is different from those of the um, Canva templates that you've already seen um, social media posts uh, like social media banner Facebook covers no we're not gonna talk about that today our topic is Canva art a lot of art pieces online but um, I haven't seen a lot of uh, tutorial about this though I found few I wanted to add one <laughs> okay so I'm gonna teach you how I did what's in my thumbnail so I'm gonna teach you on how to create your own Canva art even if you're not a digital artist you know <laughs> um, so a uh, first step okay so what what I did is I downloaded a picture of a, f um, a female model or anything that you like I downloaded that on pixels because there's a lot of free images there so after downloading that on pixel I uploaded that to Pixar so through Pixar is where I cartoonize that woman um, but uh, Actually, there are illustrations. Uh, actually, there are all illustrations already in Canva that you can use, like a woman's illustration. It's just me that I want that picture to be cartoonized in Pixar because I want it to be more human, not an illustration. But yeah, so that it would look like a painting. So I will show you how I do that in. Um, in Pixar and then after cartoonizing that on Pixar I uploaded that to Canva but as you can see there is still a background there so don't worry in Canva it's very easy to remove a background all you have to do is click on effects and go to um, the remove background unlike Photoshop um, you need to like go online or maybe they call it the lasso effect so that uh, all you can trim the pictures and just remove the background for and make, make it transparent but in canva all you had to do is click the picture and then remove the background so after removing the background it's now time for us to design it and make it another piece so so once I remove that, what I'm going to do is find um, the right element that I want to use. So for this art piece, I'm going to use the splash paint things. So there are paints or brush that you can uh, see in the element section of Canva. So this is what I chose and then I chose black, pink um, spots. So. What I'm going to do is that combine that and make uh, and make sure that the body part will be covered, so it it would look like there is another um, another dress, I guess. And then on top of that, I will add some flowers so that it will have more texture in it. So once you add flowers, it would really look like an elegant. I don't know elegant off shoulder dress so after putting those 
flowers um, on the dress part now my mind said I want a big girls you know every, every woman's dream is big girls you know so I'm going to search for curls on the, the Canva element so from there I'm going to form it into a new hairstyle of the subject that I'm doing so after I put those hair I will then add a big flower in the background so I'm going to add a big flower on the background and then so as you can see now this is the finished product of our Canva art of the day I mean I could do a lot of this or maybe I could just um, post it on my Instagram you can see it at gverse.creative so I've been posting there it's my official graphic design um, Instagram so if you just wanna if you just wanna see it or I was hoping that you would do your own Canva art and please please do tag me I would be really happy if you do so yeah that's our work that's our art for the day so that's it for today I hope you like this video and if you could share this to your friends or comment what you like to watch on this channel I would upload I promise and yeah that's it for today i hope that it helped you it inspires you and always remember that in design be it design or art when it comes to creativity there is no limitation all you have to do is have a free mind because with free mind you can do anything you can create anything do experiments com combine shapes combine colors do whatever you want whatever your heart says go for it okay so that's it for today and i hope to see you on the next video